little video about infertility and the reasons behind it. I'll be going over just a general overview, uh, main causes of it. What I see most of the time with women who have trouble getting pregnant or staying pregnant. And this also goes into, I'm pregnant, but it's a very difficult pregnancy. I see most of these problems being tied into only a few mischief makers with the women's bodies. And interestingly, it's rarely the ovaries or the uterus from what I've seen. There is a hierarchy of problems, and the reproductive system is usually on the low end of the totem pole, so to speak, with, um, with its impact on its survival. For, for, um, for a woman's or a man's survival, reproductive system is not necessary. The heart is necessary. Horm hormones are necessary. Brain function is necessary. Reproduction, that's nice. So it is often on the lower end of the totem pole. And um, reproductive problems, I know, are a real heartbreaker with a lot of couples. And it's one of my favorite things to help. I've had great success with helping women to have a healthy pregnancy and sustain it through give birth uh, and have what seems to be a happier than usual baby, probably because it's a healthier than usual baby. So the things I see behind it are usually just a couple of things. Number one is thyroid problems. It doesn't matter, in my opinion, if you've had a thyroid test and looks back and looks like everything's okay. From what I've seen, there's a lot of missed thyroid problems, even with a good blood test. And so I do some detective work to see if indeed there is a thyroid problem, and it comes up most of the time. Um, so we'll get into that a little bit later, how to test for it, how to treat it, how to help it. But thyroid problems seem to be the controlling mechanism the thyroid gland is the controlling, uh, so to speak, boss of the reproductive system. So when a woman comes in and I find my menstrual cycle's too long, my menstrual cycle's too heavy, my menstrual cycle's too short, my menstrual cycle's not there, thyroid dysfunction is the cause. I can't get pregnant, usually thyroid problem is the cause. I can't maintain a pregnancy, usually thyroid problem is the cause, or at least strong involvement. There's other things that can be involved. There can be um, inflammatory problems going on. Those inflammatory problems need to be uh, looked into and some testing done as to what might be causing the inflammation. A big, big deal is diet. So the diet, certain foods are inflammatory. So you need to have some testing done to see which foods they are, and maybe there's none, but it's pretty common to have a food or two that are causing some inflammation throughout the body, and inflammation can hit various places. You can have inflammation in the brain, it gives you a headache. You can get inflammation in your knees, knees are painful, arthritis type feelings. You can get inflammation in the reproductive system, and then you have troubles. So it's, it's a good idea to try to reduce any of the inflammation that's going on and uh, we just see like uh, normal normal results. So pregnancy is a normal result that starts to happen better. And um, those are the main things that I'm seeing. Main things, again, just touching on thyroid problems, inflammatory conditions caused by mostly foods. And then a number three thing that I see with infertility is some nutritional deficiencies. So unless you have been nutritionally checked in depth, you won't know what you're deficient in. I am not a big fan of the multivitamin that's the prenatal. The prenatal, I mean, it's a, it's a good idea, but when I test here in the office, I find that usually there is something lacking, and usually the quality of the prenatal vitamin is pretty poor. And the prenatal vitamin is made for the average person. And the, each person that comes in my door is not average. They have unique needs. So sometimes there's a unique need that's not met. So I'll go a little bit more in depth with this in a future uh, video or two. But just talking about infertility, pregnancy in general, what to do about it. There's some great tests that can be run. You're not alone. And let's get some testing done if you're interested. Uh, and if you're interested in this video, want to see more like it, please subscribe, share, ask questions. I'm here to answer any questions you have. I am here to be of service in the North Dallas area. And I will see you on the next video, okay?